Hello everyone and welcome to Weekend Tabletop Warrior. Today we are going to do an unboxing of the Guilds of Ravnica bundle. Um, so this has 10 15 card booster packs inside as well as a player's guide. Um, of course a card box which is half the reason I buy these things. Uh, 75 basic land cards um, a premium foil version of each basic land, and the spin down life counter die. And from what I understand, these are part of the guilds that are in Ravnica. So you have a chance of getting, I believe there's five guilds in this set, I guess, um, for Ravnica. So you get a chance to get one of the guilds that are in this set. I'm actually hoping for a Gol Golgari, or is it myself? Um, so let's take a look and see what we've got in this fat pack. Alright, so right here we've got our card box. Um, it's not specific to the Guilds of Ravnica or anything like that, but that's okay. Um, inside the card box here we have our 10 booster packs all of our basic land cards with the foils in front here we get 75 basic lands there and it has uh, a little bit of a reference card here um, it seems like with this set they're really trying to get more and more people into magic even though I can't imagine there's a lot of us that don't play but um, this is a day and age where a lot of these games are a little more easily accessible and I think Wizards of the Coast is doing a good job of uh, trying to make them even more accessible. Um, I wonder, yes, so we have a couple of reference cards here. Um, what, this one's uh, talking about the different formats. Um, some, some of the basic formats. Um, the basics of building a deck. Um, I know some people that could probably get some use out of this even today. Kind of gives you a typical count of lands, creatures, spells, all that sort of thing. So that's very nice of them to do that. And uh, then an advertisement for learnmagic.wizards.com. All right, so these are all the boosters that we get in this pack here. Um, and here's our die that we got. And it is Is It by the looks of it. So I got one of the ones that I uh, was looking for. There we go. I believe that's what that symbol is. Um, yeah, so it's a nice little life counter die. It's a, yeah, it's definitely got the blue with the red. It's very, very cool. Okay, so. This guide, let's see, it's got all the cards in here from the Guilds of Ravnica set. Um, it gives some backstory on the Guilds of Ravnica. Um, oh, it talks about the first five guilds, so there you go. So we've got Demir, Izzet, Golgari, Boros, and Selesnya Conclave. Alright, so that's what we're dealing with in this set, is those five. All right, so then we go into more of uh, some fluff of the rising tensions of Ravnica. Um, some really cool art here. Of uh, oh, okay, so these must be like some of the champions or planeswalkers from each guild. So let's see. We've got Ralzarek. Is it League here? We've got Vraska. Champion of the Downtrodden, Golgari Swarm. Uh, House Demir, Lazov and Etrata. I hope I'm not butchering these names. Oh, and there's Niv Mizzet. That's, he's hard to miss. He's uh, pretty well known in <laughs> magic circles. Um, to the Is It League, especially. And then uh, Golgari Swarm again. And then it just looks like we're going into some uh, little flavor of each of the five guilds that we're looking at in this set. So um, it kind of talks about uh, the 10 coolest cards in this set. That's pretty interesting. So let's see, what can we hope to get? Um, yeah, 
So Vraska is definitely someone I'm looking at. I'm uh, definitely looking to collect more Golgari cards this time around. Um, so she's the new Planeswalker for this set, or maybe one of the new Planeswalkers, but she's the only one they feature here. Um, she'd be a cool addition to my collection. Um, Divine Visitation. Oh, we've got uh, dual cards back. Um, so we've got Invert and Invent. Arclight Phoenix in there, and then a breakdown of all the cards in the set. So I'm sure the most of the reason you guys are here is just to see what we've got and uh, to kind of take a look at what some of the odds are for getting some of these things. So I'm going to tilt my camera down a bit and we're going to start cracking these packs open. All right, so I've cleared out a lot of my junk here. Um, we've got 10 of these bad boys here. Uh, let's start cracking through here and see what we've got. All right, so we've got Maximize Altitude, blue card. Target creature gets plus one and plus one and gains flying until the end of the turn. It's a decent sorcery there. Uh, Barging Sergeant, it's red, it's haste. Mentor, uh, it looks like Mentor is a new keyword that we've seen here. Whenever this creature attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. Uh, that definitely seems like a Boros favorite type of card. Um, spinal Centipede. When spinal Centipede dies, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. That would be fun with Golgari. Killing things, bringing them back. Um, definitely worth looking at for Golgari. Wild Ceratok. Um, kind of a bigger creature there. Looking our, at our first Golgari card, it looks like we've got dual colors back as well. Um, it's a 2-2 with Death Touch. It's a Gorgon. That's pretty decent. It's three costs though, I'm not sure. Um, we've got Hammer Dropper, Boros card. Uh, it's a giant soldier, and he's mentor. He's a 5-2. That's pretty good. Uh, we've got our first Demir card here. It's interesting because we're seeing a lot of the guild cards kind of a little further back in the packs here. Um, this is an instant. You can either choose to tap a creature or a target creature gets minus one, uh, minus two, minus four until the end of the turn. Sumala Windshaper. When Sumala Windshaper enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or enchantment card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest of the bottom of your library in a random order. It's pretty good. I've got an is it card, Hypotha <laughs> Hypothesizzle. Um, that's a great name, some really cool art on that card. Um, you're drawing cards and dealing damage. That is very, very is it. Um, Prey Upon, target creature you control fights, target creature you don't control. So that sounds a lot like fight um, or some of those other cards, but it's only a one drop uh, sorcery. It's not an instant, um, it's pretty good still. Lava Coil deals four damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. That's pretty decent. That is uh, a good, <laughs> I'm gonna talk a lot about Golgari because it's a strategy I really like. But that's a good Golgari um, muck, muck with their strategy type of card. We've got a, a dragon here, Hellkite Whelp. Uh, it's a three three with flying, it's a five drop. Whenever it attacks, it deals one damage to target creature, defending player controls. Nice little pinger when you attack there. Uh, good to have flying with that, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, Pilfering Imp is a one drop black. Um, you pay one, one black, and tap it to sacrifice him. So this seems like a Golgari card already. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non land target from it, that player discards that card, activating this ability only when you can cast a sorcery. So, you know, Golgari could be decent, keep bringing him back, keep making them discard land cards. Um, we've got Gruesome Menagerie as our, our rare card here. Choose a creature card with converted mana cost one in your graveyard. Then do the same for creature cards with converted cost mana two and three. Return those to the battlefield. That's pretty darn good for a, well, that's a five drop. 
It's not bad, but you're bringing three cards back. Um, one could potentially be your pilfering imp right here, I guess. Um, but I'd have to see some other cards in the set to figure out how uh, how well that kind of plays into things. So uh, we've got a guild gate here and an illusion bird for our last card here. Um, we got the Boros guild gate. So that was our first pack. So let's crack those open. I'm gonna start going just a little bit faster here, otherwise we'll be here forever. Um, I'll stop on some of the rarer cards, I guess. And I'll just start throwing this trash over here. Passwall Adept, uh, can't be blocked when you pay for it. Uh, maximize Velocity, I think we saw this card in one of their Facebook promos. Uh, pretty awesome art there. Um, you basically give a uh, target creature plus one plus one in haste. Uh, you've got a 1-4 card here uh, with Reach, my spider card. Barrier of Bones, it's a skeletal skeleton wall, that's pretty interesting. Um, when it enters the battlefield, you surveil one. Surveil is, look at the top card of your library, you may put that card into your graveyard. Definitely a Golgari card there. I'm going to be looking at how that kind of interacts with things. Um, enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and they can't block. Hired prisoner is a 1-1 one, one with death touch. That's a nice little early play card there. Got more mentor here with blade instructor. Sonic Assault. Tap target creature. Sonic Assault deals two damage to that creature's controller. That's pretty good. Um, obviously you need both colors for is it there, but uh, you're kind of doing two things at once, so that is uh, a pretty high reward. Golgari Locket. Yes. <laughs> um, so you basically get to add mana or pay up to four of any of the Golgari colors, sacrifice it, uh, when you tap it to draw two cards. Um, that could be interesting. Command the Storm. So you're basically dealing five damage to target creature here. Um, I'll have to look at Lava Axe, but it seems... Well, I think Lava Axe, you could attack the player, actually, so that's still different. Demotion. Chanty creature can't block and is activated abilities can't be activated. Okay, that's pretty pretty good for a one cost. Inescapable Blaze, some really cool art there as well. Um, this spell cannot be countered. Uh, Inescapable Blaze deals six damage to any target. All right, so that's pretty decent. Um, definitely an it style card there. Get some of your things out there that help you cast spells. You can do that six drop pretty easily probably and uh, can't be countered, it's pretty good. We got a unicorn here for our silver card. Um, whenever Inspiring Unicorn attacks, creatures you control get plus one plus one until the end of turn. That could be pretty good. 2-2. Two, two. For uh, our rare here, we've got whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. It's pretty good. I don't know if it's... I'll have to look at this. Whenever you cast a blue spell. Okay, that's... Uh, it's pretty good unless you're playing against a Golgari player. And um, we got the Golgari Guild Gate. Yes, that's something I was looking for. Some new art for the soldier cards as well. For this next pack, we're starting with Hunted Witness. Um, when it dies, create a plus one plus, oh, sorry, a one one soldier creature token with lifelink. That's pretty good. And explain disappearance. Return target creature to its owner's hand and then surveil one. That's interesting. Never happened. <laughs> Again, the art in this set is pretty darn cool um, a lot of the time. That is kind of freaky though. It's like pulling his memory out of his eyeball. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from that player's graveyard and exile it. Interesting. Um, choose one destroy target creature with flying or destroy target enchantment. For a three drop to destroy a flying creature, that's pretty darn good. <laughs> If I do say so. Candlelight Vigil. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus two. And Vigilance. Piston Fist Cyclop. Uh, by Cyclops. It's an Is It card. Pretty awesome art there again. It's a 4 3 Defender. As long as you've cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, um, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Uh, so again, you really want to play those spell cards. Uh, we got the, the Gorgon again. 
Fresh Face Recruit. It's a Boros card. I got a Demir Choice uh, to tap a creature or um, give a creature minus two, minus four. Uh, Samula Wood Shaper again. Gatekeeper Gargoyle. Flying Gatekeeper Gargoyle enters the battlefield with plus one, plus one counter on it for each gate you control. That could be pretty good if you're collecting gates. You could pretty much go for any guild. Um, we've got another dual card here, Discovery and Dispersal. Pretty neat. Uh, City Watch Sphinx, another Sphinx card. Flying when City Watch Sphinx dies, Surveil 2. Seems okay. Overgrown Tomb, a Golgari Swamp card. As Overgrown Tomb enters the battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. So you're basically getting um, a land that would normally be tapped uh, when it enters the battlefield, readied, if you sacrifice two life. It's pretty good. And then we got the Slesnia Guild Gate. So we're getting, I think we have three Guild Gates so far. Got Demir Informant here. Enters the battlefield with Surveil 2. Yeah. Rubble Belt Boar. Got that Wild Saratok again. Another Fresh Face Recruit. Mephetic Vapors. All creatures get minus one, minus one until the end of the turn. That is a killer for tokens if I ever saw one. Uh, Blade Instructor, I think we saw that one already as well. Command the Storm, we saw that already as well. Capture Sphere, that is some great art again. Uh, it's got Flash, um, basically does not allow creatures to be untapped. Got that Golgari Locket again. If we take a look again at how that works. Guild Summit, it's our silver card. When Guild Summit enters the battlefield, you may tap any number of untapped gates you control. Draw a card for each gate tapped this way. Whenever a gate enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. So they have some really cool interactions with gates here. I can't wait to see what I get with gates to see if I can kind of make things happen. Um, League Guild Mage. It's an is it card. Uh, you can pay three and a blue to draw a card when you tap it, or you can pay X and a red to copy target instant or sorcery spell you control with converted mana cost X. You may choose new targets for that copy. Um, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> so you basically pay it maybe early or later on, um, and then you can uh, maybe get some good stuff out of that. Oh, a Legion Guild Mage. Interesting, so we got a couple Guild Mages here. Um, this one is Boros. Um, so you pay five and a red, and it deals three damage to each opponent. That's cool. <laughs> It's expensive, but it's pretty cool. And then the second one's even cooler. It's two and white to tap another target creature. Sorry, I guess I thought that said every other creature. I got a little excited. Um, but that's still pretty decent. Um, for our gold card, we've got Unmoored Ego. Really cool art on that one as well. Uh, choose a card name, search target opponent, reveals graveyard. Uh, hand and library for up to four cards with that name and exile them. That player shuffles their library, then draws a card for each card exiled this way. Uh, could be another good Golgari counter. Glaive of Guild Pact. Of the Guild Pact. It's a nice shiny card, too. Um, it's an equipment card. Good creature gets plus one, plus zero for each gate you control. There you go. So that's another gate. Uh, it also has Vigilance and Menace, which is a creature with menace can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. That's pretty cool. And then we got the Demir Guild Gate. Um, so we're pretty much most of the way there. We've got Skyline Scout. Whenever Skyline Scout attacks, you may pay one and a white. If you do, it gains flying until the end of the turn. It's not too bad. It's a 2-1. Passwall Edept. Uh, can't be blocked if you pay for it. That's pretty decent, too. Intrusive Pack Beast. This is Vigilance. It's a 3-3. Three, three. So five drop. When intrusive pack beast enters the battlefield, tap up to two target creatures your opponent controls. That's pretty good. Severed strands is another card we saw in their Facebook promos. Um, as additional cost to cast the spell, sacrifice a creature. You gain life equal to the sacrificed creature's toughness. Destroy target creature and opponent controls. That is a pretty fun card uh, for Golgari, maybe for Demir as well, probably. Um, Generous Stray. It's a cat that brought you a lizard because it knows you can't hunt. 
it's trying to save you. <laughs> it looks very proud of itself. Um, when generous stray enters the battlefield, draw a card. That card represents a lizard. Let that sink in. Um, Goblin Necromancer, an is it card. Um, some really cool flavor on this one. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less. That's pretty awesome for is it. Another Demir card, surveil two, and then draw two cards, and it deals two damage to you. It's pretty straightforward. Um, whoop, left something behind there. Ah, Selesnia Locket. So this locket thing is is kind of the new artifact of the set. Watcher in the Mists, really cool art there as well. Um, when it enters the battlefield, surveil two, so three, four. Affectionate Indrik. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. So it's a four, four, they can just go ahead and fight. Boros Challenger, uh, it has Mentor, and uh, you can beef it up if you have the, the mana to do so. Um, District Guide, when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for land. Oop, we got a red card here. Dream Eater, Nightmare Sphinx. All right, let's let that focus a little bit there. That's Flash and Flying. Okay. <laughs> um, when it enters the battlefield, surveil four. Um, when you do, you may return target non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. So that's, that's okay. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, you can kind of do a lot in that one activation there. Not too bad. And then we got another Piston Fist Cyclops, a shiny version of it. Slesnia Guildgate again, and another Soldier. Unexplained Disappearance. Cosmotronic Wave. Deals one damage to each creature your opponent controls. Creatures your opponent controls can't block this turn. So four drop, it's not too bad. Veiled Shade, uh, you pay one on the black uh, to ramp it up, basically. It's not bad at all either, it's pretty good. Crawl Foragers. It's undergrowth. When Crawl Foragers enter the battlefield, you gain one life for each creature card in your graveyard. That's fun for Golgari as well. Um, Erstwhile Trooper, another Golgari card. Discard a creature card. Erstwhile Trooper gets plus two, plus two, and gains trample until the end of the turn. Activate this ability only once each turn. It's not terrible. Um, another Boros card, Flying Haste. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Whisper Agent has Flash. When it enters the battlefield, you can Surveil 1. Uh, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus 3, plus 2, and has Vigilance. Sonic Assault. That Minotaur is not having a good time. Um, tap Target Creature. Sonic Assault deals 2 damage to that creature's controller. I think we may have seen this one already. It's pretty good. Ooh, this Golgari card looks cool. It's a Fungus Zombie. Uh, Rhizome Lurcher has Undergrowth. Undergrowth seems like a really interesting ability. Whispering Snitch. That's some interesting art there as well. Uh, whenever you surveil for the first time each turn, Whispering Snitch deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. Very, very interesting. Plague Crafter. When Plague Crafter enters the battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Each player who can't discard discards a card. Okay, that's not bad. Gird for battle. Um, put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to two creatures. Not bad. And we've got Rawl, is it Viceroy here. It's a planeswalker we just picked up here. This plus one is to look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Rawl, is it Viceroy deals uh, damage to target creature equal to the total number of instant sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard for the minus three. That's okay, that's not bad. And then his emblem for minus eight is whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, the emblem deals four damage to any target and you draw two cards. So if you can get them up twice, uh, three times, uh, and then get another turn in, it's, that's that's what you want. <laughs> You want to protect him and get that minus eight, obviously. You always want to get that minus eight, but that's pretty darn good. Uh, we got a goblin there and the Slesney Guildgate. Uh, that's pretty cool. Collar of the Culprit, destroy target creature with toughness four or greater. We got Pass Wall Adept again. Portcullis Vine, it's a defender. Two to tap. Sacrifice a creature with defender. Draw a card. 
I've only seen one other creature card with Defender we've gotten so far in this set, so I don't know how useful that will be. Um, Dowser of Light, it's a 4-3 horror creature. Luminous Bonds, what on earth are we looking at here? Um, it's an enchantment aura, um, and a enchanted creature can't attack or block, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's fun art there. Uh, Verdani Shieldmate, Vigilance 2-2, two -two. not too bad. There's our Piston Fist Cyclops again, he's a popular choice for us. Uh, Pitiless Gorgon, that's the Death Touch with 2-2 two -two again, I'll probably be putting some of those in there, love me some Death Touch. Hammer Dropper again, there's that giant. Artful Takedown, so really cool art there. Again, that's the one that taps the creature. Um, Swarm Guild Mage, so now we've got the Golgari Guild Mage. Uh, it's an Elf Shaman. Creatures you control get plus one, plus zero for their five ability, and gain Menace, um, or you can gain two life by doing one in a forest. Circuitous Root, I'm probably not saying that right. It's pretty late, I'm kind of tired, but it's a maze anyway. Um, Hedge Maze. Uh, search your library for up to two basic land cards and or guild card, uh, gate cards, sorry. So that would be good to have um, if you're building a guild gate type deck. Uh, we've got an elf cleric, conclave guild mage. I think I have most of the guild mages already now. Um, so you can have creatures gain trample or you can create some tokens with him. Firemind's research, that's Niv Mizzet if I ever saw him there. Um, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on Firemind's research, remove um, them to draw cards, or deal five damage. Pretty cool. That's that's good to get out there early. And then we got the Demir Guild Gate, so another soldier. Okay, we've got Maximize Altitude again. Torch Courier, he has haste, and uh, you can sacrifice him. Another target creature gains haste. Goblins love to die for the greater good, I guess. Uh, Delser of Lights, um, it's a cool name, cool art, just a 4-5. Uh, Urban Utopia, it's an, an enchantment. Um, it enters the battlefield, you draw a card, and you can tap it for any color mana, it's pretty cool. There's our Rhizome Lurcher again. Sky Knight Legionnaires, Flying in Haste, 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Dark Blade Agent, Demir card, as long as you've surveilled this turn, it has Death Touch, it's a 2-3. Whenever this creature, yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, Centaur Peacemaker, when uh, it enters the battlefield, you gain some life. It's pretty good there. Uh, Whisper Agent again. Capture Sphere again, that art just makes me laugh for some reason. Smelt Ward Minotaur, really cool art there as well. Um, whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, target creature and opponent controls can't block this turn. Good for is it? Um, Flower and Flourish. That's pretty interesting there. Um, World Soul Colossus again. That's Convoke. Uh, and, uh, oh, wait a minute. I don't think we've seen this one before. We might have. I might have skipped over it or something. Your creature can help cast this spell. So one less for uh, one mana that creature's color. World Soul Colossus enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. Based on what you've paid for it. So that's pretty good there. Guild Mage's Forum, is our gold card here. You can add colorless mana. Add one mana of any color if that mana is spent on a multicolored creature spell. That creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. What? That's good. That's a good card right there. Another Golgari Guild, uh, Gate, and Elf Mage. Uh, Elf Knight, sorry. So it seems like we're getting uh, the Guild Gates once per, per booster here. So that's good. I should have figured that out sooner, but like I said, I'm tired. All right, so we're getting close down to our last two packs. I'm not giving up hope for the Gokari uh, Planeswalker, even though we already got Rawl here, but uh, I can dream, can I? So we've got 10th District Guard. Um, so you can basically give it some extra toughness there. Disdainful Stroke, counter target spell with converted mana cost four or greater. I'm not a huge fan of these cards that are like, give you conditions on what you can and can't spend them on because it's very situational. Uh, we got our Torch Courier again. Hithclaw Recluse, so that's that spider again, one four with reach. There's our Spinal Centipede again. Muse Drake, another dra uh, Drake there. Flying, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. It's a 1-3. Gateway Plaza again. 
dead weight. Um, uh, you can enchant a creature to give it minus two, minus two. It's all right. Undercity Uprising, Golgari card, sorcery. Creatures you control gain death touch until the end of the turn. When target creature you control, oh, then target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Um, that's fun, you can give a one, one death touch if it didn't already have it and then just kill the big thing. I'm loving that, that's a four drop, that's really, really good. Um, Ledev Champion, whenever it attacks, you may tap any number of untapped creatures you control gets plus one plus one you can create uh, lifelink creatures there with that conclave tribunal um that's really cool art right there if that'll focus on that uh, it has convoke and uh when conclave tribunal enters the battlefield exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until it leaves the battlefield those cards are great especially against golgari uh demir spybug that's a really cool art card as well um, obviously Demir flying and as menace and whenever you surveil put a plus one so plus one counter on Demir Spybug. So this is basically the card that you use for all the new keywords. <laughs> Quasi duplicate. I think my friend was telling me about this card. Create a token that's a copy of a target creature you control. Jumpstart. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Um, I'm sure you can get some good use out of that. <laughs> I'll have to think more about that one. Uh, Devious Cover-Up is our foil for this one. Um, counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. You may shuffle up to four target cards from your graveyard into your library. Seems interesting. Probably a... Hmm. I guess a lot of... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems... Like you can use it for, for any blue. Uh, we got the Demir Guildgate and the Bird of Illusion again. Uh, Alright, so we got our last pack. Our last pack here. We're going to do this right. We're not going to cheat. We're not going to look ahead. Righteous Blow. Righteous Blow deals 2 damage to target blocking or attacking creature. It's okay. I prefer cards you pay 1 or 2 more for and then they just kill the thing. But <clears throat> Leapfrog. That's a really cool picture again. He's got the building behind him and he's looking down, ready to leap. Leapfrog has flying. As long as you cast an instant or sorcery, this turn is a 3-1. That's fun for is it? Goblin Locksmith. He's literally punching through the door. What? <laughs> oh, that's great. Whenever Goblin Locksmith attacks creatures with Defender, it can't block this turn. Again, I haven't seen a ton of Defender, so there's a lot more counters for Defender than I'm seeing. The actual defender cards, but I gotta look through the book to actually see what else we've got in here. Um, Ledev Guardian, uh, so you've got Convoke here, it's 2 3. Mood Mark Painter, it's a black card under growth. So when it enters the battlefield, target creature gains menace and gets plus X plus 0 till the end of the turn, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Um, that was pretty good. That's not bad. Uh, Pax Favor, we've seen this card before, I believe this sounds familiar. Uh, really great card art, again, uh, it has Convoke. Um, and then creature cards, uh, sorry, target creature gets plus three, plus three. Pretty good. Uh, Parhelion Patrol, what some cool art there. Flying Vigilance and Mentor, it's a 2-3. Boros Locket, um, so you can draw some cards with that as well. Siege Worm. I know we've all seen this uh, card in the promos lately. Uh, it's a uh, seven drop. Has Convoke, Trample, five five. It's your big beefy hit things and then hit more things card. Got our Gar Goblin Electromancer again. Uh, might be building a, an Is It deck here if I get some more cards. Uh, True Fire Captain. It's it's a Boros two red two white. It has Mentor. It's a four three. Whenever it is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player. Hmm. So that'd be some, uh, you'd have some fun there, putting some extra toughness on that. Hazard Marshall. Thoughtbound Phantasm. So that's pretty good there. You put a bunch of counters on that one. Find and Finality. And Boros Guildgate, so uh, Find and Finality must be our gold card here. Um, so return up to two car target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand, or you may put two plus one plus one counters on creatures you control 
then all creatures get minus four, minus four until the end of the turn. I guess that's pretty situational, pretty good. Um, not bad all in all, I think. Uh, we got one Planeswalker out of that, some decent cards. Um, again, I'll have to kind of go back and see what else we've got in the set to see what's actually worthwhile here, but uh, get a lot of bang for your buck. I think I paid a little over 30 bucks for this. Um, yeah, so there we have it. I got my Is It Die. Got a bunch of good Is It cards, a bunch of good cards for all the guilds. Couple gate situ situations there. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me uh, today for this probably longer than uh, we all wanted video. Um, but this was a quick unboxing of a fat pack here for um, Guilds of Ravnica. Until next time everyone, happy gaming.